I cannot believe it, but today is the day that my company, Brook Tech, is releasing these brand new robots. And eh, well, we're kind of testing them first. I mean, this is kind of what it comes down to. This could be the future right in front of us. And my employee, Steve, just said launching final components now. Okay. Steve just said powering on. Come on, please be a successful test day. Please be a successful test day. Oh my God, the robot has said power on. Holy crap, he's up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is this is official. No one has ever created a robot that stands, by the way. Steve said all systems are functioning correctly. And the robot's looking at me right now. And he just said scanning. Yes, of course. Hello. And, and of course, it should have a little bit of intelligence. And just like I predicted, it said, hello, poke, creator. Yes, I am the creator of Brook Tech. I'm the creator of these robots. I'm just trying to change the world for the better. Imagine being in your home having one of these things and cook for you, clean for you, answer any question possible. The future is very bright. And Steve is freaking out. He said, wow, I know we did it, Steve. The first robot ever. Well, it's been such a long day. Let's power him down here. I'm going to put in my personal poke key lock. I'm the only one who knows this. Oh, and he just shut down right on the floor, guys. He's a power down. Oh, well, all right, Steve, you can handle the rest. I have to go feed my kid dinner, buddy. Oh, so we're going to need the forklift. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Well, you got it. You got it, Steve. Steve, don't worry. I, I gotta go feed my kid. But this is such a successful day. I can't believe this happened. Time to get home. All right, getting inside. Where are you, Sonny boy? There he is, guys. There is Poke the second. He said, Dad, you're home. And he instantly said, did you make the robots? Yes, I have been telling my son all about the journey of making these robots. And I get to finally say, yes, it's complete. We did it. The future is going to be different. I cannot believe this. My son said, wow, I just want to be just like you when I get get older and you will be poked a second. I promise you have a great drive so far. And I know that if you love what I'm doing with the robots, Hey, I mean, maybe you could take over one day. Well, let's get you some food and get you to bed. All right, here, let's get you a nice uh, meal. Go sit down. Okay. Uh, we got leftover pizza. If that's okay. All right. Just eat that up. And if you want any dessert after just let me know. Wait, that was weird. Hold on. I'll be, I'll be right back, Sonny. Enjoy that. What the crap was that noise? That sounded nuts, dude. Hey, what the crap is... Whoa! Hey, who are you? Who are you? And why are you in my house? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta call the police, bro. You got an intruder. Oh my god, where's my phone? I always leave this dang thing at home. Stop! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Please! Please! Don't hurt me, bro. Oh, wait, it's like an old guy. Wait, he can't hurt me. Never mind. And he just said, wait! I'm your son! Yeah. Good one. <laughs> good one. He said, I'm your son from the future. Wait, no, 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 no. I mean, I am a scientist and time travel is theoretically possible, but this, hold on, explain now. He said, I'm Poke the second. Oh my God, that is my son's name. He said, I'm currently 105 years old, which if he's 105, that means that he's from the year 21, 24. Whoa. Uh, let's just take a step back here. Wait a minute. You're, you're actually from the future? Where, where's the tech, huh? I need you to prove it right now, buddy. He said, right here. And he just turned around and he's showing some interesting... What is that thing? It's like a built-in panel. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Whoa, what the? Wait a minute, just to make sure I'm not freaking out right now. You're my son and that's you as well? This doesn't make any sense. He said, I'm not here to say hello, dad. Man, it feels weird him calling me dad. He's slightly older than me, bro. Everything from the future has gone away and it's all because of you. Me? Is this something I did? And my son just said, let's catch you up on the news. I almost called this guy my dad, bro. Wait, what the crap? Did he just put down a TV? Whoa, what is? what kind of technology is? I have never seen anything like this in my life. Whoa, it's like a hologram. Okay, and he said, shut up and watch. Our brand new V2 bot coming to stores very soon. Our very first police tech bot is being launched with Brook Tech collabing with the police academy. We have a very good future in our hands. Yeah, Ryan, we're getting a good close up of the robot encampment right up here. It seems that a lot of robots have been getting kicked out of their homes due to not being trusted anymore. I wonder how this will affect the robots mental health. With horrible news, Poke has passed away, leading his son to become the company leader. War has been officially declared on robots. Bots, due to the CEO of Brook Tech not trusting them anymore. We live in a scary world now. What? I... Wait, what? Wait, what? Why, 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 did the, why did this happen? No, that, that was not supposed to happen. The robots I created were supposed to be for good. There was a switch on them to make sure that that wouldn't happen. Did that not work? Did they get too smart? Oh, there's so many questions to ask. He said, no matter what happened, it did happen. But wait a minute. Okay, I have an idea. You telling me right now, I can stop and it, it won't happen. Boom. 
I won't do it. We're good. Guys, I just won't I just won't mess up the future. I'm just gonna stop the robot thing right now. We're done, right? My son just said it happens either way. Oh my god, this is like a canon event from Spider-Man, dude. Said it happens if you did or didn't do it. Said I've tried so many times to fix the past. So why are you here? And my son just said, I'm too old to fix this now, but with all the knowledge you have, you can fix this. You you want me to go to the future? No, 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 bro, bro. I have so much going on here, dude. I, I can't do that, bro. My son said yes. I mean, guys, this is my son I'm talking to. He really means that the world would be destroyed. And this is the world of, that he lives in. This is the world that my grandkids would live in. That I, I can't ruin this for them. He said, you are the only person who can fix this. He said, I believe in you, dad. Okay, but I need to say goodbye to my, my son. I, I mean, you. I need to say goodbye to you technically. He's stopping me. He's saying you can't. Would it mess up something? I, I, I can't say goodbye to him. He, but me, te my, me technically traveling to the future. He won't grow up with me. Right? So if you tell him everything will be for nothing, he said, you have to go now, but I've left a note for myself. So he left a note for the kid downstairs. I just need to at least see him one more time, man. I just need to... Man, I hope he knows what I'm going to be doing. I'm ready. Let's do this, guys. We're going to the future. We're going to have to stop what I can. He said, all right, I'm sending you to 2124. Whoa, he's putting down these beams. He said, you will be sent to the other side. Okay, but wait, where where, where do I start? Who, who do I go see? He said, find Mayor Kyle III. Mayor Kyle III? That's Mayor Kyle's grandson, bro. He said, he will tell you everything you need to know. Be safe, Dad. Oh, what is happening? Whoa. What? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I'm in the year 2124. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And the first thing I'm noticing is a sign that says robots go away. I mean, I, I do understand that the, I, my, my son did tell me that this world is messed up and me creating the robots or someone creating the robots has ruined this. And I'm here to stop this. There's even a sign right here that says we hate Brook Tech. Oh man, all that time traveling. That got me so hungry. And there's the... Proof. Today's date is February 20th, 2124. Every single person I loved is probably gone. Well, actually, my son was there. But bottom line is, is this world is completely different now. I'm starving, though. So I'm going to go get a bite. It seems like some of these businesses have kind of stuck around. Hey, let's head on in. And, whoa. Is that one of my robots working at Starbucks? My dream. It it came true. I imagined a world where these robots would, would do this and humans would be able to live and do anything they want. No working. Oh my gosh, this customer just said, I just wanted a simple coffee with a power shot, you dumb bot. And then this guy said, sorry, I understand, but that is not what you asked for. He said, yes, it is. He said, I have it in my memory bank. Oh man, he's really getting this robot mad. Actually, this gives me an idea. Excuse me. I'm just gonna go read over here to the panel. Hmm, interesting. I could type in my personalized code still. That hasn't gone away. Shut down. Holy crap, I can't believe it but th it's actually my robot this guy said whoa what did you do i i created that I said thank you bots suck and this guy's literally just grabbing a bunch of crap dude oh, well i didn't mean for that to happen i was simply just testing the mechanics of it well since i'm here but this is crazy guys i cannot believe this the world that i created is alive and well today but we're at war with those things maybe we're at war with some different type that seemed like a pretty normal guy to me they've come such a long way and speaking of long way i'm gonna go over to the bank and i'm gonna see what 100 years could do to my bank account i'm genuinely curious and i got my card right here so i'm just gonna enter that in real quick and let me just check out my balance <gasps> what the oh that makes complete sense after 100 years of 55,000 percent increase on the bank money my 20 000 something dollars is gonna turn into yes like i knew 13 million man it kills to be smart i can't believe this guys i'm a multi-millionaire in the future and now this actually gives me such an idea and i know i should be really focusing on this whole robot thing going down but i wonder what the tech is like in the future i wonder if the tech store is still the same here huh it's a ride the phone company like they would have any tech up here oh my god what in the mothers is that wait that looks like the time machine stuff earlier but what is that thing okay let me just kind of ask a little question hello sir what is this one right next to you called he said ah yes this thing looks so crazy it's like condensed matter energy he just said it's our quantum rumblefire those exist those were just such a joke in my day and he just said they're on sale actually huh oh, yeah gone from existing to, to clearance at this point how much for one of those and he said what do you mean they exist oh i i probably tweaked this guy out uh huh, nothing 
Just an old timer joke, I guess. They've been around for a long time. How long? His buddy's just asking me how old I am. You know what? Th that's not important, sir. How much is a quantum realmifier? He said only 2.5 million. Only, right? Well, okay, it's a good thing that I actually just came up on a good amount of money. He said usually they're three. Okay, yeah, let me just get my card real quick. Let's get that all rolling. He said we just started accepting brain chips too. Do you want to sign up for that? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a rain check actually on that one. You could just use my card. Awesome. Thank you. Said so you would have received a discount for signing up today. Yeah, I, I just don't think I want my brain ID out there, you know? But I guess I get one of these. A quantum realmifier. I'm so excited. Said so I sent the receipt to your IW. L? I, this is new lingo for me. All right, let me just take one of these things. Perfect. And that thing fit in my pocket really well. It, like shrunk down. You never know what you'll need a quantum realm of fire for for a rainy day. Thank you, sir. Well, I've done a little bit of shopping. I've checked my bank. I've I've eaten some food. This donut is not like blueberry flavored, by the way. I've never tasted neon flavor in my life. And that, that this is what I, this is what neon tastes like. Let's just head over to the town hall and go meet up with Mayor Kyle the third and let's let him know on the entire situation. All right, well, we're here. This is pretty crazy, guys. Oh my gosh, there he is. Mayor Kyle III. Hello, my name is Poke. I was sent from the past. He said the past? My son overtook the company a few years back. Wait, and Mayor Kyle III is really confused about that. So you're not making any sense, pal. And then he just said, but we could use any help we could get. He said robots are losing their reasons one by one. No, 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 that's impossible. I put specific code in there to stop that. This is not making any sense. He said one second they're serving you coffee, the next you're killed by them. I must have dodged a bullet earlier then. I was literally with that robot. I thought he was normal. He said, you need to head to the Brook Tech headquarters and talk to the CEO. Okay, I I, I could do that. He said, you need to talk some reasoning into them. Reasoning? What happened? But I thought my son took over the, the company after I... Kill humans. What was that noise? What was that noise? Oh my god, the mayor just said, they're here! Holy crap. Holy, holy crap. Oh my god, they're here, bro. What do I need to do? I go to Brook Tech. What do they want? Oh my god. Are you guys coming in? Oh no! He said, hurry, poke. The war began and you need to enter Operation Kill Switch. Oh my god, he's coming in. Jump! Activate! Switch! I made him fall. Oh my god, the mayor. Poor guy. He got shot by the robot. Okay, I gotta head to Brook Tech. I gotta figure this out, dude. This is not making sense. The robots aren't supposed to struggle like this. Where could Brook Tech be, guys? Where could Brook Tech be? I mean, I... Oh my gosh. What? Wait, but this doesn't make any sense, guys. It says Poke missing for 100 years and counting. Rest in peace. I never went missing, though. I came to the future to fix this. And hypothetically, if I came to the future to fix it, then technically I would have come back and... I never came back. I never came back. I left my son. I left the world. Did I even continue to build Brooks Tech? But I watched the, the futuristic TV that my son showed me. I... I need to get to Brook Tech. There are so many questions that need to be answered right now. This does not make any sense. All right, guys, we've been looking around for Brook Tech. I think it's gotta be somewhere around here, guys. I feel like I'm getting really, really close. And oh man, is this a kid robot? Man, this is crazy. Hey, uh, you, you okay, buddy? And he just said, hello. Hey guys, they are looking very interesting in the future. Wow, one of his eyes red. Do you need any food or like anything? I feel bad for him, guys. He's just like this like robot who's just sitting on the corner. He said, I do not eat. Okay, buddy, I, I that's all. I just wanted to help. Just wanted to, what the? He said, activating kill mode, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Wait a minute. I'm approaching on something. It says right here, Brook Tech Inc. There's a lot of keep out signs right here. I've made it. I think I lost that kid. He's right over there. I gotta just jump over here. You know, just climb through these sides. Oh my gosh, there's literally a guard right there, guys. We have got to be careful. Let's just relax and let's see if we could find maybe a way inside of this. It's like a full-on military base now. What company did I create? Whoa, 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 whoa. They are literally letting a robot in. At least I think they are. He said halt. Clear. Yo. What is going on? This is absolutely crazy, guys. He just let a robot in a Brook Tech, and it did not look like a good one. There are so many questions that need to be answered right now. As soon as I get in that dang place, I'm going to figure out. I got I to gotta sneak in, though, guys. I have to literally sneak into this place. I think that's the only way. Where is the possible entrance without getting spotted? Wait, the guard just said, hey, you, freeze. No, please, please. Wait. wait. He's not even shooting me. He just said, wait, boss, where are you going? Boss? Like, like, like me. I thought I was absolutely done for, but now he's calling me the boss? The boss of Brook Tech? I thought I went missing. He said, boss, what are you doing over here? I'm going to go with this. Just, just scoping the area. That's all. Just, just heading in. Ha ha ha. He said, why were you running and screaming? Oh, ha ha. Just on edge. I thought you were a robot. You know, I, I thought you were one of those evil robots. 
Yeah. So, okay, well, the entrance is over there. Of course. Yeah, yeah, get, get back to work. Silly. All right, well, it seems that I am the boss here, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. I think I have full-on I, I, I have full on access in this building. Man, I can't believe I'm in here. This is my company. I did this. Well, I technically did, but didn't, but I created it. I, I'm the founder of this thing. I cannot believe the technology that we have nowadays. I just wish I was here for this back in the day, man. We have one of my employees legit working, but he's SWAT. I'm realizing right now that there's a lot of military-esque vibes going on here. He said, hello, boss. Hello. Good to see you. Man, I do not know how I can keep lying about this whole boss thing, but it's time that I meet the boss. Let's head up and all of our questions will be answered as soon as I see the boss. Wait, is that... Wait a minute, is that me? Are, are you me? Wait a minute, am I myself from the future? I mean, he just said, well, I'm assuming you are my grandpa poke. Grandpa? I'm a grandpa? Dude, I'm like 25. Son? He said, oh, we got a good Poke family reunion. Finally, after all these years, you came back. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why did my gravestone say I went missing in 2024? And he said, because you did, Dad. Because you left me. I changed the timeline. By me coming in the future, I changed the timeline. I didn't raise my son. But luckily, my older self left my younger self a note about what to do to take over this company and do it right. This is actually happening. My son from the future successfully made me leave 2024 to come here to leave him to take over my company. No, 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 no. But, but, the, but the futuristic TV. I lived until a while. You didn't take over the company till years before. Guys, my grandson in the back is not taking this way. Well, does he even know that this was the plan? If does he even know that my son was up to this? He said that was just an illusion that you thought could happen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, the thing on the back, it's gone. The, the, my son, when he came to visit me in 2024, he was wearing some sort of like weird like mechanic. You you had you had something on your back. Man, the robots are getting really realistic, huh? You sent a robot into the past? He said, you've got to be proud of me, dad. And my grandson just said, dad, please, this wasn't the plan. Oh my gosh, my grandson's actually against him as well. I'm sorry, son. I'm just so excited to see my own dad. So I left in 2024, and the reason it all still happened is because of you. But now it makes me think, was it even going to happen if I didn't come here? Mind blown. This is wild. We needed you out of our hair for us to complete the project, but we realized we needed one more thing from you. Your switch poke. You're the only one who could do this. That switch does more than you think. I don't think you realize the switch can shut them down or it could give you 100% control to the robots, which was never my intention. If humans were able to 100% control all the robots, they could make them do anything. And I mean anything. I am not giving you that power. That's the only reason I'm here because I made the switch. Thank God I did that. I said, sorry, poke but it's not an option. The reason that robots are probably evil is because you want to take their free will. Control them 100%. Holy crap. But he just pulled out some weird Star Wars gun. He said, now, I'm not asking again. I won't let you. You destroyed my life path. My own son. You took my entire company. You made your younger self feel horrible. And now you're bitter. Think about what you're doing. Holy crap. What the crap is that thing? Must kill CEO. Oh my god, my grandson said, we need to get out of here now. Let's go, come on. Oh my god, what is happening? Go, 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 go. Holy crap, guys. Me and my grandson, we are getting the crap out of here right now. This is crazy. Brook Tech is officially over with, I think. My company that I made is gone. Okay, but we should be in the clear now, guys. My grandson just said that was close. What just happened in there? He said, your son, my father, he's at the core of all of this. It's under his direction that everything has turned bad. He really made you leave your time just so he could take over. He made me hate him. I just wonder what that note said. All I know is, guys, is that my grandson seems to be uh, having a little bit of me in him, you know? My son, though, on the other hand, not at all. He just said the only reason he wants war with the robots is so he could take them as weapons. How can we stop this? There has to be a way, grandson. Obviously, we have time travel. And he just said, well, there is one way. Back in 1904, your great-great-grandfather created Brook Tech. Convince him not to start the company. None of this will ever happen. But will I even be born? That's a good question too, dude. Hello? You ever think about that? Maybe he had kids to lead on the legacy of Brook Tech. But it's our only chance. He just officially just put down the same portals. This is what my son put down from the future. So we can send you to 1904 and stop this. Okay, I'll do it. I said, good luck, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandson. I'll do this for our world. Whoa! Oh my God, we're going to the past! Let's hit 2,500 likes for part two to see me travel back in time to the year 1904. Can I stop this and save the future?